The most difficult thing about short trips or layovers are logistics. People feel that they don't have enough time to see anything, so they opt to stay in the airport, hotel, or pay more for a direct flight. So when a good friend of mine, Danielle from The Thought Card, told me about another app that will help ease the stress of navigating a city in a short time, I couldn't wait to check it out. Introducing Sidejig Travel. You're watching Landing Gear, where we review the latest travel apps and travel gear. The app opens up on the My Trips page with a list of your scheduled trips. On this page, you'll also find the past trips and trips that you put in the trash. If you haven't saved any trips yet, then you have a plus button in the middle here to get you started, but you also have a plus button in the top right corner. Let's do some housekeeping. In the top left corner, you have your menu. In addition to My Maps, you have Offline Maps, which is a collection of maps that you can download. You can also submit feedback, share Sidejig Travel on social media, learn about Sidejig Travel, get help, and learn about other products. When you tap your picture, it shows what type of account you have. Now I have a premium account, which comes with premium travel guides sourced from the very awesome Four Doors Travel. I have access to worldwide offline maps and it's a lifetime purchase. A premium account costs about $13.99 Canadian. Let's get into it. Tap the plus button. To get you started, you're presented with nearby destinations, as well as a list of popular destinations. Naturally, in the search bar, you can enter the name of the city you're looking for. Let's go for Toronto. Give your trip a name. If you know the dates, you can enter them here. And if you know your place of arrival, like an airport, train station, etc., you can enter that as well. If you're staying in a hotel, enter it here. If you're staying in an Airbnb, friend or family's place, you can enter that address as well, but I'll show you that later. Tap Create Trip. X in the top left corner takes you back to the main screen, while the gear symbol in the top right corner is where you'll find your settings for this particular trip. The heart represents anything that you tag as a favorite. Next are the preferred dates you selected earlier. Tapping on a date will list all your chosen places of interest, activities, restaurants, tours, etc. The magic happens when Sidejig Travel takes all your interests and lays out your day for you. We'll come back here after you've added some points of interest, but for now, we have the airport that we'll be landing in. You have the current weather in the selected city. The three dots allow you to add a note, show all your selections on a map, or delete the day. If we tap our first selection, Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport for a second, you're provided with tons of info about that selection, which we'll look at as we start adding points of interest. But I wanted to point out the scheduled time. Tap it and you can change the time to reflect your arrival time and the estimated time you think you'll leave the airport. This is all good if you have a dinner reservation, you can enter the time that you'll be at the restaurant. It also works for tours. If you know the duration of your tour, you can enter that information. Sidejig Travel will take all of that information and factor it into your itinerary. Tap the map. Welcome to Toronto. As you zoom in, you can start seeing all the points of interest. Circles that have a blue ring around it are selections you've already made. When I tap this one, it's our airport. The check mark also means it's selected already. If I tap it, I get the same card we saw earlier. Tap the arrow to go back. The bigger the circle means the more popular. So let's tap this one and see what it is. We get a little card with some basic info, but we want more. Tap the card. The CN Tower, it's our pride and joy. Look at all the info. As a premium member, I get a four doors write up. Tours and pricing, tap eight minute window seat helicopter tour over Toronto, and we're presented with all the tour info, details and pictures, and ways to book the tour, all within the app, arrow to go back. We also got Wikipedia info, the official website, admission prices, admission times, duration, address, and distance from your current location by walking or by car. You can tap it to see the route. You also have all the contact info and social media networks, available passes and notes, which if you tap, you can enter time and duration. Tap the plus button to add it and choose the day you wanna add it to. In fact, I'm gonna heart it as well. 
Now let's say you read about a great off the beaten path park, restaurant, bar, or activity. You can custom add it. Tap map, tap and hold to get a pin, tap the card, type in the name of the restaurant or activity or venue, type in the description, tap change location, and in the search field, type the address, then type search. Once it's found, tap save. You can add additional contact info, tap done. You can also add a picture if you have one. Tap the arrow to go back. The map is great because it allows us to quickly see what is close to the airport or our accommodations and choose points of interest based on distance due to time constraints. So since we have two days, let's tap on places. Now we have a list of all the key things to see and do with a brief description. Tap on an item to pull up its card. Let's tap Kensington Market. Again, you're presented with tons of info, including tours and prices. Let's choose a few. You can also swipe to see the next location's card. Tapping the lines in the top right corners allows you to filter selections based on your interest. Let's add some restaurants. This is awesome. Because I live in Toronto, I can see what the app is doing. It's picking restaurants based on locations I already chose. For example, 360 restaurant is the restaurant in the CN Tower. The app knows I already selected it, so it's offering it as a restaurant choice. Tap the arrow to go back. Tours gives us a list of tours we can book and add to our days. Hotels gives us a list of hotels. Tap on a hotel to pull up its card. You can view what rooms are available. And it's all done via booking.com and it's all within the app. If you're staying in an Airbnb or apartment, then we can add it by creating a custom card. Tap your first day. Scroll down and tap add something new. From the list, tap add custom accommodation. Type in the name. Type in a description. Tap find location. In the search field, type in the address. Tap search. If correct, tap save. You can also add contact info for this accommodation. Tap done. Tap on the check mark, then tap all the dates. Tap close. Now your accommodation is added to all your dates. Toronto Guide is Fedora's way of breaking down the city according to dining, nightlife, shopping, etc. Car rental allows you to book a car based on when you'll need it. Choose a date and a pickup place and search all within the app. Weather is the current weather forecast. Day trip is a list of places you can visit in a day close to your destination. In this case, Niagara Falls is the most popular destination to visit within a day from Toronto. Download allows you to download the map to use it offline. Now that we have some selections, tap a date. Sidejet gives you an itinerary based on your selections. Being from Toronto, I can see how logistically this all makes sense. If Casa Loma is first, Royal Ontario Museum would be next, followed by Kensington Market and Chinatown. This saves time. Also, I can see the distance between the selections. From Casa Loma to Royal Ontario Museum, it's 2.2 kilometers and a 27 minute walk. Maybe I might want to take a taxi or public transportation so I can change this by tapping on their three dots. Also, I can rearrange the selection if I want by tapping and holding the selection and moving it to a new spot on the list or you can move it to a different day. Tapping on any item brings you to its cart. As you can see, the app decided to end my day at the CN Tower with dinner in its restaurant, 360. That's perfect. Love, love, love this app. That's it for today. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and visit us over at rudderless.ca. Cheers.